I've heard about this. What is subchapter five and <laughs> how can it help homeowners? Subchapter five. Um, um, this is another part of my, uh, another part of my practice. Um, in February this year, um, there, there was a new law that was passed by Congress. Um, and basically, I think a lot of people, I, I, let's go back to that conversation I would have with that debtor. Like, oh, mm -hmm. you know, you can't file chapter seven, you have to sell your house. Um, there was another type of bankruptcy called chapter 13. Um, chapter 13 would allow you to take all the money that you owed your, your mortgager and allow you to repay it over a five year, five year, five year plan. Um, it's a great, it's a great, it's a great vehicle if you're in that situation where you just called me and you just can't look, file a chapter seven, but there was one small problem in chapter 13, especially in California. Um, the debt limits were, were just, just a few million dollars, like $1.2 million. And, and you know, the, the people, people with secure, people were living in $3 million houses and $2 million houses, and they just had too much debt to be someone who could file chapter 13. And I have to throw them, throw, throw them out and say, I can't do chapter 13. You owe too much debt. I can't do right. chapter seven. Um, in they passed what's called the sub chapter five. And I'm, let me try not to skip anything. Um, there's something called chapter 11, which I'd be selling. Right. With, and this is what I work with wit. I, I do a chapter 11, but chapter 11s are expensive. Um, there's a lot of going to court. Every, you have to go to court for just about every transaction you make. Um, individuals are just not very comfortable following all the paperwork. It's a lot. It's, it's very good for a business with an accounting department, um, with, a good, with a good legal budget. But for individuals, Chapter 11 is really hard. Um, and a lot of them fail. So Congress knew this. So Congress did something to that. We're going to make a subchapter 5 of Chapter 11, which is an easier Chapter 11. And we're going to take out, we're going to take out all the things that make chapter 11 really, really difficult. And we're going to make it easier. Um, I think as the lawyers will talk about all the little procedural things, but I'm going to make it simple that it, it, it made it much simpler. And it threw out, it threw out, it threw out so much a disclosure statement, some, some prospectus that you have to file with the court that you go to the court five different times to make sure everything was correct. They threw that out. Um, so it was, it's really a way to do a chapter 11 for no one who can do a chapter 13. Um, what was fascinating, this is COVID related, is that when they first came out with it, they had a, about a $2 million cap on the $2.3 million cap on the amount of debt, which was kind of near chapter 13. So I couldn't, it didn't mm -hmm. really help me. When the CARES Act came and COVID came, they took the 2.3 and they, they, they upped it to $7.5 million. Wow. So, so any business, and, and this is really more important for business and homeowners, but any business with $7.5 million in debt, which is really all the small businesses, mm -hmm. um, they have a much easier way, a much easier way to do bankruptcy. But for homeowners and, and Martin, I was telling you about people with guarantees. Uh, right. A lot of these homeowners are people who had businesses and they guarantee, and they are, they're on a guarantee. And um, if you're on a guarantee, if you're, if all the loan, if the majority of the loans that are against your house or the majority of your debt is based on you guarantee these, these business loans with the SBA, all of a sudden you're a small business. So, um, Interesting. so, so I think it's, I haven't come across it yet. I, I've been dealing with a few people, but um, a lot of people who couldn't file chapter seven, couldn't file chapter 13, chapter 11 was, was a daunting task. Um, Subchapter five is going to be something really good. Um, that's homeowners. You're going to hear a lot more about subchapter five, a little outside of this podcast, a little more with small businesses, but it mm -hmm. has, it, it has a lot of effect and it's, it's also a good, a good, a good tool for a good tool for homeowners with business loans. And I mean, COVID, COVID is something that's bad. And of course, and it's going to make people file bankruptcy, but People should know that in the last year, they've had these laws passed that are really are really helpful and are just really pro debtor, um, pro having you file and get a fresh start and walking away. Um, and it's going to be it's going to be exciting actually to be able to use these tools we never had before.
which is exactly why somebody in financial trouble needs a professional like you, Ben. Well, uh, 